Hey beauties, get ready to witness some makeup transformations that will absolutely melt your heart. We're about to dive into the world of beauty and emotion with jaw-dropping before and after looks that will leave you in awe. Welcome back to my channel where we celebrate the power of makeup to not only enhance our beauty, but also uplift the soul. Today we're delivering into the realm of heartwarming makeup transformations that have the incredible ability to evoke deep emotions and touch the core of our being. Let's face it. We all have that insecurities and challenges, especially with my eyebrows, whether it's struggling with acne scars, feeling self-conscious about uneven skin tone, or simply wanting to enhance our natural features. Makeup serves as a powerful tool to address these concerns and boost our confidence, allowing us to be our best versions of ourselves when we be in the world, of course. Every day while we get up, getting ready for work or school, we always want to look our best. Give us the best deliverance and also feel good about ourselves. Give us that self-boost, self-confidence. With me, I always struggle with my eyebrows. That is one of my struggles. Um, for now, it has been, but I always make sure that my eyebrows are perfection, at least perfection. I know they say that our eyebrows are our sisters, but in part of my makeup routine, my brows have to be a one. So as you guys can see, I am using my Kiss Professional Line Precision um, Auto Twist Pencil. It's really good, and the color is called Brunette. This is one of my favorite um, eyebrow pencils that I love to use. And I'm applying my concealer Cappuccino and Warm Coconut. I'm just going around. As you guys know, the basis that I use for doing my eyebrows, of course. But I'm going to let you guys watch a little bit of this and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is your favorite part of the makeup tutorial. I'm using Ruby Kisses Waka Beach, Wika Beach, if I pronounced it correctly. I'm using that light blue that's on like the right corner on the second row. I'm going to blend that with my brush. So I'm just blending in a circular motion towards the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just blending. And I'm going to mix it with the light blue that's on the third row in the middle. I mixed those two colors together. I just wanted to see how the outcome was going to come. And I did. I liked the colors. It was like a teal and a light blue. And I'm going to use the first row, the third one, like a um, pink, like a new pink color. I'm playing that in the inner corner of my eye, as you guys can see. Just want to give you a vision of the makeup. And I'm just applying it in my inner corner all the way down. And I'm applying it towards like the middle of my eye so you guys can have the vision of me doing my makeup. So I'm making sure that it's blended and it looks really good. And I was so nervous a little bit. And I'm mixing more of the teal color to bring out the color out more so that it's a lighter color. So I am done with that so far. So now I'm going to apply the KISS Face Primer, um, which you guys should buy. It is the Hydration um, Cool Face Primer. It smells so good and it tingles a little bit, but it makes sure that my skin, my pores is all good. 
Now, this is your guys' favorite part. Yes, I have a glitter eyeshadow palette. Um, I had purchased this one from Amazon. So it has more variety of glitter. So I'm just mixing like the lighter blue and darker blue. And I add a little bit of the fuchsia pink um, color. I'm just mixing colors. So you can, you know, do the same colors that I did. But I'm just mixing colors. Um, I wasn't being specific on how. I just wanted something that I haven't created yet to be different from my other uh, makeup looks. So this was one of them. And I really love it. And this is my cappuccino concealer once again. Um, this is the everyday one that you guys should go buy because it do cover um, if you have like dark circles or, you know, you haven't slept. This is the best one, especially for my ladies. If you're looking for something to buy, then um, yeah. And I'm just looking around because I thought I heard something, but it wasn't. And I'm going to use my Mocha um, Concealer Kiss Professional underneath the cappuccino and then lastly I'm going to use the mocha um, it's a little bit darker it kind of reminds you of the contour and I'm just going to do like two three four little drops I mean dots and um yeah it's it came out perfect originally and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it in and as you guys see it looks like my skin tone it don't look you know cakey or too much you know I always want makeup to like my skin and you can't tell it so I'm just going to apply some above my eyebrows and especially around my forehead because you don't want to just have makeup just towards the bottom you know you always want your makeup to look flawless I'm just applying the little um color the silver beige color in the palette um, underneath uh, my eye towards the bottom of my eye and now I'm applying some mascara towards the bottom of my lash line I'm going to be using um, elf big mood um, you don't have to use this particular uh, mascara but you can you can find it at your local drugstore and it just have like length to my lashes um, I couldn't get it out but it brings length to my lashes so I do love the elf mascara and now I'm going to be using my favorite lip balm, lip tint by I Envy. It's called um, Lip Balm. It's the color Plum. I think it's number two, number three, but it's the color Plum. And then I'm going to use my favorite lip gloss by Nika K. Um, I just applied this little glittery diamond. It's called Diamond Glow. And it's called Fair number three. And this is one of my favorite lip glosses. It gives it a shimmer and it looks very nice and it just makes your lips pop when you have your makeup on and you're going out. So this is like a really good combo. And I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Mist Spray. It's a setting spray. It's the one in the green and it really works, you guys. And I'm just going back over... Um, my lips with some concealer because I want my lips to look like the brat style. I love the brats. So um, I'm just applying it around my lip area and I'm just going to blend it in with the sponge around my lips. And that's it, you guys. In conclusion, in today's journey through these makeup transformations has once again highlighted the transformative power of makeup. It's not just about changing one's appearance, but it's about changing how we feel about ourselves. By embracing makeup, we can boost our confidence and redefine our perceptions of beauty. And before we wrap up, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button, subscribing to my channel for more heartwarming content, and sharing your favorite makeup transformation stories in the comments below. Your support means the world to me, and we can't wait to continue this beautiful journey with all of you. And I want to say thank you so much once again for watching. And until next time, stay beautiful inside and out, and never let anyone change you. Bye.